My name is Lucy, the district nurse in the community health center here, and I'm here today to check on the progress of Mr. David at 34th Street. Is this the right address? You can be the right place I have David. All right, great. You're so Mr. David from your reports. I know that you've recently had an appendectomy done for, and it's been almost two weeks now and I've been assigned to check on how well you've been doing after the surgery. So could you tell me how you've been doing? Well, I haven't been feeling really well last couple of days. I looked and I sound really exhausted most of the time you it seems that I've lost my appetite. I haven't been eating as much as I usually do I generally do I like doing I don't know know what's wrong with me but I definitely think it's something wrong with me. So if I understand right, Mr. David you feel that something is wrong with you because you've lost your appetite for years and you feel really tired. Is that right there? That's exactly right. I would have come to the community said to myself. I've been feeling really petite. So I couldn't make it there, only glad you're here. So what I can do Miss David is that can I examine you first? It is sin to say that. You know, you're suffering from these problems. I just want to check if there's anything else that I can spot, but then you find your that's perfectly fine. If we go. All right. So when so during the examination what I found is that you liked you look really tired and pale and to be on a slightly yellowish. So just to get things right here. Have you had any other difficulties, like how you felt feverish or any pain in the abdomen, swelling something of that short? Well, I'm glad you asked because other than not feeling hungry, at all I have noticed that I've been these headaches frequently, even something that's more concerning is, but since the last two days I've noticed my human, it's not normal because it's, not it's darkly colored, right? Okay. All right. So, it's David's symptoms that you've just mentioned frequent headaches and your urine being dark colored and being tired fatigued. All of these are closely associated with symptoms of jaundice, but it's too early for me to find my second issue. So I can't confirm yet. I leave. Couple of more tests for this. Okay, so like you mentioned that you wanted to come up with the community health center for a checkup, right? I would recommend just that I would want you to come to the community health centers that we can have a more detailed examination of saying right 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 now that you mention it I've also been feeling of severe abdominal pain and vomiting as well. Okay, if you have noticed you don't look at my eyes they don't do I look as white and I try to your diagnosis. He's right there. I'm really worried about this. I know what do you think will happen please relax. I'm sorry for having scared you with these details, but she joined us. It's not a police. It's a condition now it could mean that you have some problems associated with your liver or gallbladder now this is just a yellow discoloration of the skin or the mucous membrane and because of the deposition of bile pigment okay. So all we need to do right now like I mentioned is come over to the community health center of your and we will need to run a couple of tests that I said I can't confirm yet to listen to the closely associated with jaundice. So if I might ask what kind of tests are we talking about here right? I was about to explain just that I'm glad you asked we do. To do some other tests. I'm sure the doctor will prescribe in a certain tests that you either take a breath. So first we go and meet the doctor there and once we take his advice on what are the tests that you need to undertake. I'll help you with all of those.